Hi, how's it going? This is Henry Fleischer here, responding to your request for a quick video on tips you can use to grow your business online. And with these tips, you can use them yourself or have somebody else use them. Whatever the case is, I'm more than happy to provide this information to you. Right now, I'm on your Instagram page, TA Custom Flooring. I like how in your description, you mentioned you're a flooring expert. You mentioned that you do hardwood designs, laminate, engineered luxury vinyl, and more. And you do installation, sanding, finishing, repairs, and that you work across New Jersey, New York, and PA. So that's all good. And it's good here that you post a lot showing off all your work and this engages with your users too. And you do great work, I might add. And it's good here how you save your stories too, so people can see that. But one thing I'm not seeing in your description is a website. And I'm gonna show you how you can use a website to your advantage. So here's what happens when you search for a foreign contractor in New Jersey. First thing we see is the Mac portion of Google. So we got the top three people get the most traffic. So we got ABC Floors Inc., JL Floor Contractors Corporation, and then Jose uh, Pichardo Floor and Contractor. This could be a good opportunity for you to rank because out of the top three, only two of them have websites. Once we move past the map portion, then we get into the organic section. This is where you want to own space. We got ThomasNet number one, NJFlooring.com is number two, their first local, local sites. We're going to take a look into them, see what they do. Then we keep going down. You see, this person right here is actually advertising. So they're paying to be on page one. They're renting that space. It's always better to own than it is to rent. So I'm going to show you some stats on Google search traffic. So page one gets 91.5% of Google traffic. As you see, everything outside of page one is far significantly less. Like if you're not found on the first page of Google, it'll be much harder for people to find you there. In addition to 47% of the time people conduct a Google search, it is for a local business service. Even if you get a spot on page one, though, the spot's still crucial. Like, not all traffic is created equal. So you want a top three spot. Like, the first spot gets 32.5% of that traffic. The second spot gets 17.6% of that traffic. And the third spot gets 11.4% of that traffic. You see that 10th spot? That very last spot only gets 2.4% of that traffic. If you get a, a top three organic spot to go along with the top three map pack spot, you're going to get a lot of traffic coming your way. And the more website visitors you get, that will turn lead to more phone calls and more customers, and in turn, it'll lead to more revenue. With that extra revenue, you can grow your business even further. Let's take a look at NJ Flooring. See here, like, their website's, like, nice, simple. See, they mentioned, like, they do hardwood floor refinishing, New Jersey hardwood flooring, contact New Jersey flooring. So they have that all that there. And then they have a video, too. Just, like, a nice, clean website, too. And they have pages they have laid lists all the places they serve as well too so whenever google's ranking a local business website they look for authoritative content so you want to have between 1000 to 1500 words all about your services on your homepage. It doesn't look like they have that range so you can definitely get way more than them and then for each service page you want to have between 500 to 750 words you can even go past that too the more the better no such thing is too much let's just let this load a little bit Okay, let's see here. CC services. It looks like it's just one plain service page, but you should have like, like each of these should have its own page, like hardwood flooring installation or finishing, uh, wood floor refinishing and sanding, like hardwood floor installation, carpet removal, like refinishing stairs, even like vinyl flooring, like, uh, and all the other types of materials you work with. Another thing too, anytime you have a website, you always have to think to yourself what's the first action you want the user to take. So every, on every page, you want to have a clickable phone number on the top left. You always have to think you want the user to be able to contact you right away. If you have a clickable phone number on the top left of your page, first thing they'll see is the phone number. They know to call you. And when it's clickable, they can reach you on a mobile device. And then when, make, when a user makes their way to the right of the page. You want to have a contact form so they can reach you via email. And right above that contact form, you want to say something like get a free quote or get a free estimate. You definitely want that on every page. And another thing too, Google favors those websites with more pages too. So like you, and you want with pay more pages with authoritative content. So you always want to, you can add like blogs to giving your thoughts and opinions on everything related to floor. That way then you'll be a thought leader whenever Think about this. Whenever you type in a celebrity's name on a Google search, their, uh, their Wikipedia page is one of the first to pop up in the search results. And Wikipedia has so much information on that celebrity. 
in detail from their career, their early life, and their personal life that Google sees that as valuable. So if you have that about flooring with the blog, you know, giving your thoughts and opinions on it, they'll see that as valuable too. And you see here for NJ Floor, they have 18 search results across Google. This is a trick you can do. When you type in site colon, you paste in a web URL, you can see how many pages the website has across the search engine. So they got 18. You could definitely get more than 18 if you have different service pages, a blog. You can make pages for each location you serve too. So I know you go throughout New Jersey, so you can do Patterson, Paramus, Oakland, Parsippany, Livingston, Summit, Union, Plainfields, Warren. You have Bridgewater Township, maybe you go all the way down to Cherry Hill, and then I see you do PA also, so maybe you go into Philadelphia, even like read, maybe you go all the way out to Reading, or even, let's say, what, what other areas in Pennsylvania, maybe you go to Allentown or Bethlehem, and I saw you go into New York, so maybe you go into like Manhattan, and then you can break it down further by each neighborhood in Manhattan. Maybe you go to Staten Island too, maybe you go to the Bronx, Westchester, Long Island, Brooklyn, Queens too. So yeah, there's a lot you can do there. And while having lots of great authoritative content is very necessary, just one piece of the puzzle. Another thing you need to rank is a thing called backlinks. A backlink is when you put your website link onto another website. Not all backlinks are created equal. Some are more powerful than others. Ranking a new website to the top of Google is just like being a new kid at a new school. You're trying to get popular. Yeah, you can have great looks and great personality, or your site can look good and have great content, but that alone is not enough to get popular. You have to win the votes and confidence of all your peers and the popular kids, and that takes time. Let's just say, for example, the NJ Times, or DailyNJ.com, wrote an article about you, and they get put a, they gave you a uh, follow from your link to your website. Like they had your website link on their article, they gave you that follow. Google would see them and be like, "Oh, DailyNJ.com likes TA Custom Floor. I'm gonna move them up the rankings." You will find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. But if you put your website link onto a new site called johnscustomflooring.com, and they give you a follow, Google would see that and be like, oh, a new kid vouched you for another new kid? His opinion doesn't mean anything. We'll keep him ranked where he is. So here's this tool like you called Uber Suggesting. Here's an overview for njflooring.com. So you see here, they appear on 1,079 organic keywords, and they have 305 backlinks. So one trick you can do, you can see who your competitors are linking to and try to link up to those same sites. So let's take a look at some of the keywords they rank for. Like NJ Florence searched 390 times a month, like Floors, New Jersey, search 390 times. Yeah, Jersey, Flooring, 170. So these would be all keywords you definitely want to try to rank for. And you could even run Google Ads, too, if you're not ranking for those keywords. You have to try to take some of that traffic. Let's take a look at some of their backlinks, too. So let's see. Hold on. Let's see what sites they link to. Let's see, Community Walk would be a possible one. A Greater Town is definitely one. Go local, you can rank, uh, link up to there. You definitely want to rank up to Yellow Pages as well as your local Chamber of Commerce too. So yeah, the, these are all some sites that they link up to. And another thing too, to rank in the map portion of Google, you need a thing called citations. A citation is the number of times that your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. You can actually put a citation in your Instagram profile. And you want to make sure that you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. But sometimes having way more citations than your competition will always leapfrog you in the rankings. What will help you rank in those rankings is if you build up your website with lots of authoritative content as well as finding a lot of valuable backlinks. If you have that high powered website to go along with all those citations, then you'll be ranking way ahead of your competition in the map portion of Google. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.